So again, at the end of the day, it's, it's all these different factors coming together. Disc herniation, uh, spondylolisthesis, I said joint hypertrophy, ligamentum flavum, uh, hypertrophy, all coming together to then result in uh, central spinal canal stenosis. Um, but also, don't forget, along with the uh, central canal, we also have that lateral recess as well as the intervertebral foramen. So from uh, an imaging perspective, um, what are the numbers that we use to define stenosis? So what's the cutoff point? Well, first of all, severe would be a intracanal um, area less than uh, 76 millimeters squared. Moderate, intracanal less than 100 millimeters squared. And that could be hard to calculate, couldn't it? But a simple measurement of the AP diameter of less than 10 millimeters is also a useful cutoff point. But again, we did show you this slide previously, um, the prevalence of these uh, significant degenerative uh, changes in asymptomatic adults over the age of uh, 60 years is anywhere up to 30%. And so as such, we really have to question the correlation between imaging findings and symptom severity prognosis. Again, it's bringing together the history, the clinical findings, and then appropriate investigation.